Hello, my beautiful, powerful creators. Welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Erin and I am here to help you get your shit. <laughs> I had a whole different video plan that I was gonna sit here and do, but you guys, I have been getting my shit. Like I have been getting my shit. All of these big things that I've been manifesting and all of these tiny things that I've been thinking I want, Dude, they have all just been bam, 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 bam. So there's a couple of like really big things that I've been working on. One I've been working on for a, a while. One I've been just start, like I've known that I wanted it, but I just started to like really start affirming for it. And I stopped focusing on affirming specifically for those big things that I wanted. I added in this one affirmation and I got everything. And I want you guys to try this to see if it works for you too. I was saying, I get whatever the fuck I want whenever the fuck I want it. And I was, you know, like in the airport and I was saying it and I was waiting for my flight and saying it. I was on the flight and I was saying it. I get whatever the fuck I want whenever I want it. Yo, I get whatever I want whenever I want it. Oh my God, I'm so happy. I get, I get everything I want whenever I want it. I literally get whatever I want whenever I want it. I had a thought like, um, I need to be able to get off this plane as quick as possible because it's, it's getting late and my friend's gonna be waiting up for me. And then literally, I, as I, after I said that, as I've been repeating, I get whatever the fuck whenever I want it. And then I had that thought, I was sitting there waiting for the flight and the girl called me up on the little radio to come to the front. My seat got upgraded from like 22 to row eight. And I started, I was testing it the whole entire day. And all of these little things like that kept happening everything just started going my way. I even had in this exact day, somebody reach out and offer me like another client for work. I'm telling you, it was just, everything was just spitballing. And so I just kept repeating it and I'm just kind of like shook, but I'm like, as I fucking should. I mean, I do, I get everything I want whenever I want it. With that mindset, I kept that mindset going on throughout my trip and I got to like, so affirming for your desires versus affirming for self-concept to get your desires. There is a thing called like vain affirmations and you, it's funny because it's not even actually a clear terminology. Like people have all of these different ways of perceiving what they think vain affirming is, but I think that it means affirming something to get something else. So it's like if you're affirming for a specific person, but people are telling you, Affirm for self-concept and then you'll get your specific person. I think doing it as a way to not actually work on your self-concept, but just to get that specific person would be a vain affirmation. But I, I really do believe that in order to get like what you want, you need to be not only affirming for those desires, like you're, if you're, you're manifesting a job, you need to be having specific affirmations for your job. You need to be having specific affirmations for your, like what anything you have, you need to be having affirmations that are showing that you have that desire already and that's how you will get it. But you also, I, I deeply believe and I strongly advise that you also have affirmations for self-concept and manifestation ability in general. Because if you're going around affirming for a certain thing, but you can't, you don't even fully have yourself convinced that manifesting is real or that you're good at it, it's going to take you a long time to actually get it when instead you could be affirming and really building yourself up and also getting all these random fun things. Like we don't need to take the fun and the happiness out of manifestation. People think of it too much as like a work and a job and doing this to get this. But that's not what manifestation is about. It's about utilizing this new found mindset to enhance your life. The whole point of this is to actually enjoy life and live it from this position of empowerment and decision, enjoyment. You've gotta stop stressing so much about just doing your affirmation like, for example, if you really need a job, so you're like, I have this job, I have this job, I was offered the job, I'm hired. You know, like, 
eventually you can kind of get in your own head about it when you're not seeing it play out out there in your world. Even though as soon as you start affirming for something, the world has no choice but to, to get it. Like there is a, everything is constantly always unfolding in your favor. Even if you don't see movement, just remember everything is always moving. The moment that you decide that you want something, it is constantly moving to get to you. If you're affirming for a specific person, you could be seeing the exact opposite out there in your 3D, but as long as you keep affirming and persisting, there is movement going on. Like, I don't care if it takes this person having to be with someone else to realize that that they, they're in love with you, or even you could be thinking that they're with someone else, but it's just like a friend. Like, you've got to stop letting little things get to you, and you've got to stop letting that derail you from affirming and persisting and getting what you want. It's not our concern how our manifestations unfold. It's just believing that they're always unfolding, even if you can't see it. And then when that manifestation comes, a lot of the time what's really cool is you can look or talk to people and figure it out and see all of the steps that were actually happening just because you were keeping the faith. Like all those things that were happening that you couldn't even see happening, but they were all unfolding right there. There's a Neville Goddard quote that says, if every little rumor, doubt, or fear can move you around like a pawn on a chessboard, then you are not keeping the faith. So <laughs> just keep the faith because the thing is when you're, when you let something throw you in that moment, you're affirming for the opposite of your manifestation. So tell yourself what you need to tell yourself to get your shit and just keep going. Like you got to just keep pushing through and you'll eventually have it. It's the little things too. Like we can't forget to enjoy the little things. And it is actually even a really cool way to, when you start seeing small things going your way because you're telling it to, you're seeing how malleable your 3D is. And all it really is doing is just giving you more like push and more power to realize your power and that will empower you to be able to get those big thing, big things. And I say it like that because every manifestation is the same. There's no small things. There's no big things. You can manifest a million dollars as quickly and as easily as you can manifest one dollar. You can. That's the whole point. You just think that you can't. You think that it's harder. Saying every... Every man is so easy for me to get, except for the ones that really want, that I want. Why? Why did you put that condition on it? If every man is easy for you to get, then you can get any man, and your specific person is no different. They're no different. No one is above you. No manifestation is above you. You were literally sitting up there on your throne, and you were just hand-picking every reality that you want, every experience that you want to see. Stop choosing the ones that you don't want. Even if you look down and you see those little ones that you don't want, just freaking pass them, put them pass straight out of your mind, ignore them. We don't want that. Affirm for what you want. Keep affirming for your desires through it all and affirm for your manifestation abilities to actually get you there. It's like a big step in the beginning when you first start manifesting that I think most people are skipping and I think that's why it's hard and people give up because they, they're they just now learning that they can even do this in the first place. They're just now learning that they're in control and that they're, creator, they're the creator. So they have all these doubts in their mind about it because they've been conditioned that life happen, just happens to you and they've been conditioned to hear the opposite. So you need to work on actually fully believing it. I believed in all of this for a long time and I would get stuff a lot that I wanted. Um, and then there's the whole like holding on to your manifestation and there's just like so many issues going around when you're first getting started because you don't fully believe your power. It's like no matter how many times you tell yourself you're just not fully there yet. You've, you've got to affirm, just as you're affirming for any desire, you've got to affirm that you can actually get your shit. It wasn't until I had this like 
big revelation moment where I realized, and everybody says this, everyone says that we live in a simulation. But there was something that happened and I, I was in shock. And I'm not going to get into like talking about all of it all because it's kind of personal and stuff. But something happened and I was just, it made me take a step. I literally, my, my jaw dropped and I was like, this shit is all in my head. Like this 3D world, this is all my creation. It was just this like huge synchronicity that had happened that it was just, it was fucking my, like I, I can't. I wish I could explain it, but I don't want to. <laughs> but when you have like a moment like that, which you will have, see this. Okay, this is what I, this is what I was affirming for whenever I had this thing happen, so that you can you can do this too. I have been affirming, I am a master at manifesting. Just that sentence, and with that was the intention that I get everything I want quickly. I know everything that there is to know about it, manifestation, and so really I was just like affirming for the knowledge and the skill of manifesting by saying that. And so not only did I start getting manifestations quick, quicker and easier, I started having all of this random knowledge coming to me because you can manifest knowledge, random knowledge coming in. I found freaking out of nowhere CIA reports that were declassified on manifestation being real. And I'm kind of a person who like needs a little bit of science. I found that and it was just, whoa, this shit's real. This shit is really real. Um, and then I had these like two, two separate occasions, these moments that came up and it was just like in my face. It could not have been more in my face that this is a simulation created out of my mind and my thoughts. Like, oh my God, it, it blew my mind and I, I have not been the same since. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if you're having disbeliefs, if you're not getting your manifestations, focus on affirming for the knowledge, the skill of manifestation in general. And focus on affirming for the fact that you get everything you want whenever you want it, as you should. It really is that simple. This is literally your world. This is your creation. You make the rules. You can have whatever you want, whatever you want. Stop putting limitations and your focus on just affirming for like one specific person or one specific area. Stop putting so much pressure on getting these one things and take manifest, like not just take that person off the pedestal or take this desire off the pedestal, take manifestation as a whole off the pedestal. Stop obsessing and just persist in having. Stop obsessing and persist in having. This whole experience, you choosing to come down and live this experience through the law of assumption, that experience is designed for our happiness. Our true nature is happiness. Our true nature is unconditional love. We're meant to have it all. We are meant to experience it all. That's why it's so much easier to manifest positive things than negative things because our true nature is positivity. It's light. There is no like out there. There is no force that you're asking for it to give you your manifestation. Your nature is a creator. That's why every video I say, what's up creators? You are a creator. You created every experience already. You're, so that's another thing is you're not coming up with all these things. You're not, when you have a manifestation, when you have a desire, you're manifesting for something. You're not creating that experience for yourself. Creation is already finished. You're just choosing what you've already created that you want to experience. That's why like you shift, you can shift 
instantly into the person that has your desire. Stop trying to create all these things for you. Create your perfect specific person because they're out there already. Stop trying to create all this money out of thin air because it's our money is within you too. <laughs> it's all within you. And just be the person who has it. Be the person who has the knowledge. Just Affirm to be that person and you will instantly become that person. Step into the state of the creator. You are the creator and your creation is done. It could not be more simple. It really couldn't. Have fun. Have fun. Relax. Enjoy. It's going to be a fun summer. We're all going to get our shit this summer. I'm so excited. <laughs> I've been getting my shit. I hope that you guys are getting your shit. All right. But if you need any help figuring anything out or if you have any questions, leave me a comment, send me an email, and we're going to get your shit together. We got this. You got this. All right. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in a future video. Okay, bye.